Ryan finishes, so do not blink. Prince Awanala, he does actually have a background in Sambo, and no surprise there, he lists Fedor Emelianenko as his favorite fighter and idol. Gigori, must be said, does have professional kickboxing and Muay Thai experience, very dangerous on the feet. I find it very hard to believe that he's, well, to say only 107 kilos. He <laughs> looks a lot bigger than that. Yeah, he really does. But I guess he's kind of settled into his frame in a sense. He's been doing combat sports and just general high-level sports for mm. such a long time. I'm sure he knows his body very, very well and carries his diet and everyday life accordingly. It looks like he is primed just to throw that big right hand down the pipe, almost holding it like a warning to Aunala. And I'm sure Aunala is aware of the danger that is... Oh, he rocked him a little! That caught him, that definitely caught him. He looks shaky, this Grigore. Not throwing that lead leg inside kick with much conviction at all. Ooh. Oh, he tagged him again. Oh, you've got it. I mean, that's exactly what happened when Grigore fought Maximo Fondop. He was, he was rocked. He was taking steps back, but then he was the one that threw the last strike. Well, that's what we said. Oh. Oh. Big shots now by Grigore, and you know that he tagged him there because Ayunala initiated the clinch. Yep. Almost saw a takedown attempt there from the Romanian. Are we going to see a big rugby-style dump takedown? I'd like to see him change levels a little bit here if he's trying to get in on the takedown. Has a double underhook right in front of oh, his yeah. head. Yeah, he could definitely make something happen with this. If he connects his own hands, no over under position now. 50 50 for both men. And I'm actually a little bit surprised that Grigori kind of went for that. He had a good opportunity to disengage and go for strikes, and now he's the one taken down. That is a big takedown for Ayunala. And if there is a chink in Grigori's armor, perhaps it is his grappling defense. 75% yep. of his losses are by way of submission. Ayunala <laughs> does have three wins by way of submission. His last submission win coming by a rear naked choke in February of 2015. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's intelligent game planning by Ayunala. Take the fighter in, into the aspect of the fight that you feel he is weakest, or at least statistically weakest. Absolutely, nothing wrong with playing the odds, and so far that looks like a winning strategy here for Ayunala. Doesn't need to land anything concussive right now, just needs to establish the position. Free him off, nice little pot shot elbows. And Grigori relinquished that underhook he had on his left side. It looked like maybe he was going to try and posture up, but seems to have abandoned that strategy now. Framing off might not be the worst decision here at all, because Ion Grigori lost his last fight due to a smother choke, often referred to as a mother's milk submission. So if you can free him off and put down all of that 108 kilos, yeah. Not quite getting through with the elbows, but you can you can almost see the discomfort in Grigori's face when Ayunala is framing off. Oh, yeah, absolutely! And these shots are starting starting to add up here for a Frenchman. <laughs> Trying to use that wizard just to, to push Ayunala back into place, but could sneak out the back door, Grigori here. He makes a move. He's working his way back up. He's got to mind his neck. Ayunala tried taking the back there, but didn't quite succeed. Heavy, heavy sprawl from Ayunala. Needs to get those hips back a little bit more. Might be connecting a, a dar stroke, perhaps, here? Can't quite see if he's connected to his own bicep. We'll know if he drops. He is. He's connected to his bicep. Beautiful observation, but lets it go. Mustn't have felt like he had it. Yeah. I suppose Gregory is a big dude. Difficult to choke out. Snaps his opponent down, is Awanala. Potential here to sit through for Grigori if he has enough left in the tank, sit through and turn. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Instead, he gets planted back on the canvas. Big finish to the round for Ayunala. Ayunala crown this performance with a finish. It's been looking very, very good. Oh, nice right hand connected. Acknowledged oh, by nice. Grigori. Grigori, to his credit, is always dangerous. That right hand of his is a piston. He just needs one shot. He knows that if he can catch Ayunala clean, it could be lights out. That's true, he's cocking like a shotgun. Is he, is he putting a little bit too much of a tail on it? Because it is cocked and loaded, therefore if I was Ayanala, I would be consciously avoiding it. Yeah, that's a good point. And also, it might be limiting him as well in terms of offense. If he's waiting for that big counter, then he's not making a whole lot happen offensively. Now that's changing, though. Needs to be careful of, of chasing Ayanala. Also, if you notice, that's indicative of fatigue, what he just did there. He threw the straight. Instead of bringing it right back to his chin, he done what we call tree and tracking with the shot. So he's almost bringing the arm down before he brings it to reset. That's a great observation there, Phil. <laughs> Strike to the body, encouraged by the Romanian. Manolo smartly fighting on the outside here, hoping that that work that he put in in the first round fatigued his opponent. The whip that he got on that hook, it was pretty far away, but still, if he had it connected. Covering up well as soon as he sees Grigori marching forward. Grigori cutting a little bit of a frustrated figure here in the second round. Yeah, I mean, clearly he feels like he's got to make up for that first round. Oh, that was a pretty heavy leg kick that he ate. Everything from Ayanala is just coming that little bit quicker. Ayanala yeah, definitely moving like a guy who's moving up to heavyweight. Oh, big shots from Grigori, but fatigue, as we say, right through the guard. He threw a right hand, but just didn't quite connect with optimal efficiency. One has to wonder about if he had managed distance a little bit better, it could have been a good night. See a shake in the head from Ion Grigori. A little bit of a wry smile there as well. Oh, there's that right. Oh, Aonala's got to get off of the fence here. Interestingly, there was. It was Ion Grigori who initiated the clinch there. Yeah, I'm surprised that once again that he didn't kind of disengage. Step off, off yeah. Yeah, I mean, off for just throwing strikes while his opponent had his back up against his cage, because this, I feel, benefits Aonala. But it might be a pride thing, but you know, he didn't like that he was planted on his back for Maybe, much of the yeah. first round, and now he wants to turn the tables. And look at that. Speaking of turning the tables, beautiful work from Ayanala there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very rare that a fighter sets you up for a bit of wordplay, so thank you very much, Ayanala. Gets the takedown in. Side control right now, pinning his knee to the hip of Grigori, and a lot of time to work here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he could get a crucifix. Yeah, almost got it there. Is Ayanala cut? Seen a little bit of a little bit of blood there. Yeah, that's a good point. It might, it might be some of those strikes. I think it could have been that straight right that landed flush. Yeah, that's true. Trying to work for a crucifix, I think. He just stuffs that wrist down between his legs. And definitely a tactical error for Grigore in yeah. trying to dis or trying to engage in the wrestling. Nice elbows here from Ayunala. I'd like to see more of those, but free him off Grigori and smash the elbow in. Some good solid left hands there from His Majesty. Oh, I think that was smart from Ayunala. He brought Grigori off the cage a little bit there. Or couldn't quite tell if it was Grigori who actually kicked off the cage there. It, it almost looked like it. Trying to step over. 
He could step over for the Kimura here if he gets his, uh, his foot over the head of Grigori. Yeah, it's a great oh. Three quarter mount so far. He gets his foot loose. There it yeah. is. Great vine on the legs, and right now he needs to solidify his position and just throw nasty strikes. 20 seconds left in the round, he could finish it. Yeah, I mean, right now I feel like the clock is on all his biggest opposition right now. Not a whole lot of time left to work if he can't posture up. 10 seconds by all accounts. Oh, big elbow gets through, and again. Grigori covering up as best he can. Makes it to the end of the second round. And It's got that little extra tension in the air. A nice little embrace between these two heavyweight warriors before the final round gets underway. Nice stiff job by Arnala. Gregory really needs to grab this fight by the scruff of the neck. He needs to take it to Ayunala. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's working really well. Not, not, not a few good shots, Seb. Yeah, now, now he's starting to take things a little better, I think. Oh, lovely hook. Lovely lead hook from Ayunala, but... And Grigori seems to think so, too. <laughs> Egging his opponent on. Grigori's got a big old head on him. You know, he's, he's a hard dude to knock out. I mean, you can barely see where his head ends and the rest, you know, his torso starts. Yeah. Has only been finished by strikes once in his career. And he does look like he's getting frustrated here by the movement and the game plan of Ayunala, which for me has been spot on when fighting a guy like Grigori. That being said, he'd be less frustrated if he cut the cage a little more successfully. He's kind of following Ayunala, where he should be sort of cutting angles instead and backing Ayunala into corners. Good stiff job by Ayunala, gets the approval of Grigori. Grigori, like you said, he looks like he's trying to cut the angles a little bit better now. He has occupied the center of the cage. Grigori really needs to make something happen. The onus to make something happen lies with him right now. Conceivably, he's down two rounds. Yeah, all things point towards that. And even though he is the one pressing the action, I'd say that even here in the third outing, Aunala is one up on points just because he's the one landing more successfully. If you're Gregory, you have to just throw caution to the wind here. You know, approach the fight, with, approach this round with reckless abandon. He, he's trying to, to call Aunala into a brawl, but Aunala doesn't need to do that. Aunala's fighting a smart game. He doesn't need. It's not going to work trying to call a fighter who's winning a fight into like a, a throwdown. Yeah. <laughs> nice evasive head movement from Ayunala, who's fighting so intelligently. Here we go. And now he has him. He should, he should follow up on those. He landed. He was just shy with the straight shot. But instead of following it up, he let Ayunala circle his way off the cage. Maybe that's fatigue or yeah, hard to say exactly what, but I mean, Grigori, he could make a couple of adjustments that would really improve his chances. He's starting to land a little bit more. Two minutes with which to work. There we see a little bit more from Grigori. We see if he was following, had he gone the other direction, you know, follow, gone a little bit more to the right side, he would have backed down all into one of the corners. You have to respect the professional approach from Ayanala. He's not being beaten into a rock and sock and style fight. He eats a big job there. 90 seconds. It really is do or die now for Gregory. Yeah, I mean, he, can, he can't expect Ayanala to change Stand in front of him, no. Yeah, to change a winning concept just for, for the, the, the pleasure of throwing down in the middle of the cage. 
Gregory starts doubling up on his shots a little bit. He has been successful. And it, it might be frustration as well. He's looking for that knockout shot. He's been planted on his back for two rounds. Nice head movement and reply from Ayunala. And we're, we're reaching the final 30 seconds. This is Gregora. I think you should just throw the, the craziest flurry you've ever thrown. Just chain together seven, eight strikes. Yeah, charge just, forward. Yeah, yeah, just just hope that one of those shots lands. Attack and a blitz. Oh, so intelligent again from Ayunala. Scores the takedown. And usually with a performance like that, I would say to a fighter, take a bow. But because we are in the presence of his majesty, I will bow. I will curtsy. I will plie. A very dominant performance against a top tier European heavyweight and I on Gregory. Oh yeah, absolutely. Décision unanime des juges. La victoire est attribuée, attribuée au coin rouge. Prince, sa majesté.